a walkthrough video of 4232 Worcester. And uh, Worcester, we're just off Wilkinson down there. So we are um, south of Bee Ridge. It's, uh, it's a decent street. Uh, this, this house uh, looks to have some updating. Um, kind of interesting in its layout here. We had a circular driveway. Um, nice landscaping. We do have a pool over here, and you're kind of looking, looking through what was, I guess, a carport going into the pool. Uh, <laughs> don't drive in there and crash into the pool. That would be bad. Um, but it's pretty cool looking house. So on the inside, we have exposed beams. Um, you know, good and bad. It's it's kind of it's kind of cool, but kind of hot in the summer because you have no insulation up there. That's that's an issue with this. I've um, in the past a lot of times when we have houses like this, we've actually insulated that and put drywall just to make the house a bit more efficient. However, um, let me show you around. I like the floors that they did here. This is actually a really nice looking floor they they did all the way throughout here. Um, the kitchen is really nicely updated. I love that backsplash. Love the granite. It's really good looking here. Um, cabinets are nice. Got the mortise and tenon. It, Frigidaire, Frigidaire, Frigid matching appliances. Okay. Lots of cabinet space. Lots of wall space. Lots of counter space. This is a great kitchen. Um, very nice. Undermount sink. Looking at the window, looking out the pool, looking across the way here. That's just storage in there. Um, hmm. This is nice so far. Very nice. Um, okay. Windows. Windows are decent. This is kind of like a little bonus room here. Um, I wonder if, if this were at one point screened in just because of the ledge there, that's typical, and then it was framed in and enclosed into living space. We have like an outdoor slider, which probably would remove, no sense in closing this room off for any reason. And um, in fact, oh yeah, there's two pieces. Okay, that would go across. But it is out of the way so you don't see it. So it's a nice big area here. It's like a bowling alley, a lot of room. Okay, in here, down this hallway, we do have carpet, unfortunately. I wish they would have carried that flooring on here. That would have been a lot nicer. This is the guest bath. Light switches in a weird place. Kind of strange to have the shower first thing, and then you have a, a nicely updated vanity, a nice updated toilet. Um, all very nice. So it's a, it's a fine guest bathroom. I like how they, they did the tile going all the way up. Very nice. Carpet in this room. Again, that exposed ceiling. Um, if they didn't have large trees here, because they have so much trees and there's not a lot of direct sunlight up there, it might be okay. Um, I mean, it's cool out today. It feels fine in here. And so it's not a problem. And if there's enough shade, that you might not have to do that. But if you had the sun beating down on the roof and no insulation in between, that, it's just a lot of heat being generated. Okay, guest bedroom number two. Also carpeting. Ooh, crank out windows here. Crank out windows that don't even close all the way. Those are my least favorite. Eh. Yeah. Broken, closed, broken window too. All right, guest bedroom number three has new windows. These are new, new windows. PGT windows nonetheless, very nice. That's really good. So a couple new windows, that's a good size bedroom. So we got bedroom, 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 and this would be the master bedroom with two closets. Um, two closets, master bath. It's a really small vanity. Gotta put a bit bigger vanity in there, that's awfully tiny. Hmm. Okay, but the shower again is very nice. I like how they did the shower. It's a minor step here. And there's this on the other one, why that's corroded. It's weird. That shouldn't have corroded. It's a newer tut, not toilet. So I'm gonna step out into the pool area. Let's get a look at this pool area. 
Wow, that's a pretty fence they put in over there. New fence. No fence to the back here. Backyard's open. AC looks to be very new. Looks to be in very good condition. It's kind of nice not having a fence back there because they have a pretty lawn and they keep their house tidy and it just seems like it's a bigger backyard. Um, you know, I like this cage. See, you don't do cannonballs over in the shallow area, so it doesn't matter if it's low. And it's higher here so that you can do cannonballs. Um, but this is a good size pool. Looks to be pretty decent. Looks deep. It's a big rectangular pool. A pool deck, not, not too, you know, not cracked or anything. Be nice to paver it, but that's some big expense. Uh, pool equipment, water softening equipment all over here. No pool heater. Uh, does not appear to have a solar heater. So that's just right there. These storage rooms. Nice to have this outdoor storage. It's a big area here. Uh, you got your water heater. Ooh, new panel. I like that. I know a new panel when I see it. I just put one in in my house. Um, nice kind of outdoor area. See, I think they added the pool, maybe. It's hard to say why this is open through, which is okay. Not bad. I mean, some little little things. A little worried about no insulation up there, but I do like the exposed beams. I mean, I, I, it gives it a really cool feeling in each one of these rooms. The bathrooms are all nice. Uh, the carpet is fine. I mean, I wouldn't have done carpet. I think it's new, new carpet, newer carpet. When they uh, remodeled, they did this carpet for sure. And I kind of wish that they had um, did that flooring, but hey, can't have it all. Uh, a few little things, there's just paint. You know what that is? They painted, and that was an oil based that they went over. That's why it's peeling a little bit. I noticed that in a couple places. Um, hmm. Love the kitchen, love the baths. Kitchen's baths, I love this room. The pool's decent, good location. I mean, it's, it's not bad. So I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.